Today, as I was surfing the deep, dark crevices of Reddit, I found this woman who said that she wouldn't take a lunch because it was $30. Let's get it. DJ every freaking time. Okay, so y'all, story time. So y'all, please tell me if I'm wrong. So today, this dude wrote me on Instagram and he was like, can I send you money? Let me send you money for lunch. So I was like, okay. I wrote him back and I was like, send it. So he wrote me and was like, okay, what's your cash app? So I sent him the cash app. Yeah, I just knew I was going to open my cash app and I was going to have at least probably about a hundred bucks. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to be honest with you before we continue. If it was me, if it, if it was me, this is, this is, this is the big T.R.E. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I'm with her. If I'm going to send a woman money, I would send her about a hundred dollars. If I would even think about doing that, which I would not. Um, but if I would, I'm with her. A hundred dollars seems about right. Damn, because like, this I eat and that's how much I spend on my food. Yeah, I opened my cash app and this man sent me $30. Yeah, yes, $30. And I'm just like, at first I'm like, damn, like, am I ungrateful? Like, am I fucked up? Like, a feeling like, like, why the fuck would you send me $30? But then I... No. Miss, here's the thing. <clears throat> Gentlemen, hear me out. Oh, hold on, baby. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, 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 I hear you all calling me simps. I hear you calling me a simp and you calling me a loser. I got it. Just slow down. Can you listen to me, baby? I'm here to help you, brother. I'm here to help you be successful. Okay? I'm here to help you. Help yourself. <clears throat> I don't think she's wrong for wanting $100. If that's how she already lives. Now... With that being said, $100 for lunch every day, it's a little crazy. That's, a, that's, that's $500 a week. Now, unless she's making bank like that, it's fine. If she, she, to, to be able to eat a $500 a week worth of lunch every, I mean, to eat $100 worth of lunch every day, that means that lunch has got to be around 10% of her income, okay? That's the only way I say that, like 10% of your daily income so you're making all if we average it out you're making a thousand dollars a day fine a hundred dollar lunch now i could kill you you're making five thousand dollars a week okay you're making you know you're making your money okay still a, while, a lot of money to be coming out of pocket but i can i can understand it if you're making seven grand a week okay fine it's not gonna kill you to spend five hundred dollars a week on lunch a little wild but that's okay now the problem starts to come in, madam, is when you would demand that from a man every single day. Now, that's crazy. Now, I don't know if he's a man that's cash apping you every single day, but if he's cash apping you, if you expect that cash app every single day, that's wild. Let's continue. I had to ask people, and they was like, nah, come on, like, $30 is not even half a tank in my car. Like, what the fuck you thought I was going to go to Chick-fil-A? Like... I mean, I'm trying to figure out what what did you think I was going to eat? It's like, when I go and eat, I eat full course meals. Like, I order a appetizer, a entree, and a dessert, and a drink. That can't even get me two drinks. Like, what the fuck? And then this man had the audacity to write me back and say... Okay, so before... <laughs> I'm going to talk. Uh, let me get to know you. That I, why the fuck do you think I'm gonna let you get to know me and you just send me thirty dollars for lunch? Is you dumb? I mean, like, yeah, be for real. Like, tell me, am I wrong? Like, am I fucked up? Like, is my head fucked up? Like, I don't even spend thirty dollars on lunch on my like. I spend over that on myself. So it's like for someone to think they're gonna send me. I get that this thought they count. Like, he didn't have to send me thirty dollars, but it's like no, like nigga, I'm not that type of. I'm I'm not I'm not one of them. No, like nigga, I'm not that type of I'm I'm not I'm not one of them. Uh the reason I repeated that very last part is because when she said um <laughs> she loved to use that special word that I hate when black women do it sometimes. Nigga, I'm not one of them. See now now see now that's where the page starts to turn for me. I'm talking anime, see I'm going this way with the with the turn. Speaking of anime, this is just a random thought. Guys, I, sh I want to get into anime. Not because I, I like cartoons. or any uh, Cartoons, that's so disrespectful. Not because I like um, animation style uh, TV shows. I feel like there's some great shows out there. And I feel like some TV shows can't present themselves well enough 
that an anime can do. You can do so much more in an anime, tell a great story. So I'm going to try to look past the animated part and try to look into great stories because I was listening to a podcast earlier and it just got me going. Anyway, back to this young lady. See, where I started having a problem, can you bring it back up for me, DJ? Thank you. That's what I pay you for. This face right here, I don't like. Okay? This, especially when women do this. Me has the audacity to write me that and say, uh, let me get to know you. But I, why the fuck do you think I'm going to let you get to know me and you just pay me $30 for much? You dumb. That right there. Woo, boy. That gets me hot, hot, hot like a tea kettle. I don't even know why that came out. I actually own a tea kettle. I don't use it. My wife does, but I don't. But that whole, that faith, I cannot stand that. It's like, who are you, ma'am? You don't have to get on here and be disrespectful. That's where I start drawing the line. Okay, fine. He sent you $30. Okay, damn. I don't mind you wanting to demand more. I don't think you're mad. There's no, you can demand whatever the hell you want to. This tie is driving me nuts. You can demand whatever the hell you want to. But the problem is, ma'am, you have an attitude. The way you speak about men already tells me that I believe that you're a disgusting person. I'm just going to go out. I'm just going to go out and say it. The way you're talking, are you dumb? <laughs> Nigga, no. It's just like, ma'am, you don't have to be disrespectful. You could tell a person who is a disrespectful person right from the top, right from the jump. Her attitude would tell me everything I need to know. Yes. Is she attractive enough to maybe ask for $100? Sure. I'm sure somebody would do it. There are men out there who would do it. My problem would be is that her attitude is what's going to keep her by herself. Because even when she does get this money, she could be like, mm, that's that's enough. But she could find a man who's making plenty of funds. But she, does she sound like the submissive type to you guys? Let's listen to her voice again. Did she sound like she would be anywhere submissive or anywhere peaceful or fun to get along with? That can't even get me two points. Like, what the fuck? And then this man has to ask me that and say, uh, let me get to know you. That I, why the fuck do you think I'm going to let you get to know me and you just pay me $30 for lunch? You dumb. I mean, like, y'all be... Man, tell him. Guys, tell me, that sounds like somebody you want to be around. That sounds like somebody you're going to have fun with, you're going to live life with. Absolutely not. You know what this means? Tell them, people. That's it. That's it. That's all we got for... Oh, there's that bug. I'm going to let you live. Don't mess with me, though. I'll mess with you. Ma'am, I'm sorry to tell you this, but the, your attitude is going to leave you in a world of problems. It's not going to allow you to move forward because your attitude is so, from what I could tell, terrible. And this is just a small clip. That's a shame that I could tell. You know, when you watch these small clips from people, some people you could tell just from one minute, you're like, damn, I mean, it's pretty certain who you are. Because the way you would go out of your way to make this TikTok video and they go, are you dumb, nigga, all that kind of stuff. It just shows me that you would be disrespectful towards any man who you don't feel is good. Because, ma'am, if you were a woman who is that submissive type of woman who's feminine, I don't think we'd even be having this discussion. I think you either be having a, at least a fiance getting ready to get married or you be wiped up. But I feel like you're the kind of woman. And I did read some comments and people say that this is how she is. This is not satire. She is this way. This is the kind of stuff that's going to leave you lonely until you hit those 30s. Right. And you can hear the alarms bells going off and it's getting bad for you. And you can see it. And everybody's telling you, girl, you got to change. You got to do something different. And you don't want to listen. And this right here is what's going to end you up all by yourself. So, ma'am, forget the $30 lunch. I don't really care about that, but I do care about you. And I want you to start making some change and start having a more of a respect for people instead of talking about them like you did and putting up some crazy TikTok about it. It's fine to want those things. But at the same time, it does not make a man less than because he didn't give you that. If he thought $30 was enough to cover you, that's fine because you can go to Chick-fil-A. You can go to your McDonald's. Damn, you can, I don't know a whole lot of places you can't go with $30 that won't get you at least a meal. You can go to Chipotle. Damn, you, you, you can, ma'am, are you going to go to Roots Chris every time you need to eat lunch? He's, you said lunch. So I, I, I'm not mad at the brother for sending you $30 if it was specifically for lunch. I don't think that's crazy of him. I Like me personally, I said I would have sent more. But at the same time, I can understand his mindset of $30. I mean, you could eat off of 
And something tells me, and now I'm thinking about it, something tells me this man probably knows you or sees you or done things to know that, girl, you're not worth more than $30 at lunch, okay? You know what I'm saying? He's not even going to lunch with you. And I'm glad he spent $30. Now, because now that he spent the $30, he saved a hell of a lot more money not fucking with you. Lord, I'm trying not to curse, but sometimes these women just get me riled up. He saved more than $30 now. Because what would have would have gone on if he had got you on a date, he would have been spending two, three hundred dollars. And men, if you got it, fine. It ain't tricking if you got it. But if you don't, man, it's a waste of money, brother. Not for a woman like this. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. But y'all let me know what you think. Am I crazy? Would you spend a hundred dollars on this girl after she said, Are you dumb? No, mm -mm, not me. <laughs> not me, baby. I see the signs. I see the size. Goodbye.